strong. I've seen a lot of incredible people stopped by an unwillingness to let go of a past that doesn't help them. But as Lily Tomlin said, forgiveness means giving up hope for a better past. And that's the truth, isn't it? There's nothing you can do about the past. There's nothing you can do to undo it or to change what's already been done. And yet somehow, this is the area that people struggle most with in their lives. The thing that is hardest for people is to recognize the immutability of that fact. There's nothing you can do. It's done and gone forever, and there's no way to get it back. And the key in your life is to understand that that's fine, that you're going to learn from what happened, that you're gonna grow and get better, and that living your life in the past is stopping you from having a future. But as Seneca noted, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. And if you can accept that, if you can literally close the door on your past, if you can accept it's never going to get better, if you can accept that it is what it is, if you can accept that part of what makes you a beautiful human being is that horrible thing that happened to you or that horrible thing that you did, that thing that you think there's no way you could ever be forgiven for. But there's no one to forgive you but you. And the only thing that you need to realize in order to give yourself that forgiveness is to understand that nothing is ever going to make it any different. But in the way that you think, you can make it better. And just by reframing that, by reframing what's happened, by asking yourself a very simple question, how is that bad thing that happened to you actually the best thing that ever happened to you? And if you can take control of that situation and really look into it and understand that from that something has come or something can come, that is great, that makes you stronger, that makes you better, and that the fortitude to look at that thing, the fortitude to find in that pain something beautiful, something that makes you a better person, something that allows you to help other people, then, then you really can free yourself from being bound by the past and turn into something new, close a door on something so that you really can go somewhere new. And in the discovery of that new you, in the discovery of the new place that you can go, in the discovery of something new and better for yourself, you realize that you're writing that future. And once you realize that you're writing your future, once you realize that you can help other people write theirs, once you realize that you can take control of all that mental baggage and turn it into something positive, that literally the bricks that weighed you down can be the bricks with which you build something new, then you will go on to do something incredible, then you will go on to help other people, then you will lift other people up and be able to do something that brings beauty to this world. But first, you have to forgive. First, you have to understand that you're never going to have a better past, but you can definitely have a better future.